Hello Pisces, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and in this video I will be doing your Pisces Tarot reading for September 2019. Welcome Pisces to your September reading. The cards that I'm using for this month's reading are the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck and also the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot. Now before we begin your reading for September, can I ask if you enjoy the reading and let me know in the comments. Please like and share the video and please subscribe to the channel. I am doing a different layout for the reading this month um, due to my own ill health. I've been in hospital, so it's kind of a shorter reading this month, but hopefully there'll be as much guidance within the reading. Okay, so Pisces, the card that we have pulled for you for the overall energy for the month is Soulmate. So September is the month for you to face your true calling and to stop living a lie. What is your real truth? What dream is just a dream? And is it something you know will never happen? This is about being honest this month, letting people know around you if you've changed your mind. And I also feel with this card, there is a lack of commitment. So why? What is it that you're scared of? A change is needed. So maybe a change in your mindset, especially around relationships. And what I want to share here is that, that for a rose to bloom, it first has to be pricked by thorns. So there is incentive to change your perception or thoughts this month. And this is tied to another. This is tied to a soulmate connection. So why fight this connection? This month is about you facing your true feelings and expressing those feelings to another person. And often with a soulmate connection, I always feel that it's not 100% happy all the time because the reality is you are two halves that make a whole. So your true soulmate is someone who reflects those qualities in you that you do not really possess. They make you the whole person. Okay, so we're looking for three cards from the tarot for what you need to do in September, Pisces. Okay, and we have Temperance, the Healing Angel. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Strength card. It couldn't be any more powerful than that. The Major Arcana are the causes of things in our life and the minor other effects. With the Nine of Cups, I feel that this is a person that is self-centered and selfish, but selfish in a good way because you should always put yourself first. And I feel that within life in general, maybe you haven't put yourself first lately. Um, maybe you put others first too many times. There is a need for some healing. There is a need for balance of mind, body and spirit. But there's also a need to bring some strength to a situation, strength from within you, um, especially from a reaction, to react differently to a certain situation or especially a cycle of events that keeps occurring, especially where it's evolving around a soulmate connection. Um, step outside of your comfort zone. And I do feel really strongly that this is about expressing feelings if you love someone, tell them. You know, if you're not feeling the love, tell them. 
express how you feel it's a good thing to talk about how you feel okay so the next three cards are your outer world the other people around you this month and what you can expect from others okay the four of swords the king of pentacles and the queen of swords okay so this tells me that there could well be an air sign around you or someone around you who is a very strong-willed and very determined um, it could be an earth sign as well it's almost as though within a soulmate connection you've got the male that's strong and dominant and very sure of himself and he's built his empire and he's been really good at what he does and you've got the female who's very stubborn and she's turning her back on him and it's almost as though these two need to turn and look at each other but regarding a relationship as well there is someone around you who needs to rest who needs to recover from something needs to recover from a certain situation um again with the king on top of the nine of cups this puts you as an individual in a very strong position you're much stronger than what you believe you are right now okay so the last three cards that we're going to have for you pisces for september are your final outcome what you can expect for the months ahead okay so we have the wheel of fortune we have the two of pentacles and we have the justice card okay the justice and the two of pentacles the justice is 11 one and one is two so we feel that with justice there is a decision to be made the wheel of fortune is the new beginnings and the two of pentacles is juggling so what are you going to do pisces you have a decision to make especially around finances or work this is the month to make new choices. Um, I did feel in the beginning that was this incentive to make changes and express your feelings and change your perception and fighting a connection. And that doesn't come out within these cards. This is a this is all to do with. You have got a choice of two here. One choice gives you a rocky, but will give you a bigger reward. And one choice is a much easier, slower pace of life. And you've got to decide which one it is that you want. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that too. Of pentacles, because I feel that with regards to what area do you need to make that decision and we have the magician so there you have three major arcanas in a row put number one first i couldn't say it any clearer than that the three cards that are in this row well actually four the nine the king and the magician this is all screaming that you need to put yourself first The keys that are coming through for you is, for me, what I'm feeling most of all for you, Pisces, is express how you feel, especially around a soulmate connection. The wheel of change is here. New opportunities will come in. Justice will be served. But you need to put yourself first. Face your feelings. Express your feelings. And don't fight that connection. So as well as a change in mindset, there is going to be a change in circumstances as well. Well, bless you, Pisces. If this resonates with you in any way, please let me know. Please 
like and share my video and please subscribe to my channel if it doesn't resonate with you then i do do pick a card readings that premiere every thursday evening 2200 gmt you can come and join me on live chat and i will do a re personal reading for you on live chat bless you all for watching i hope you will have a fantastic september 